a small corner of West Africa lies a place filled with hope, resilience, and the spirit of community. Welcome to Marshall City, Liberia. Today, we invite you to be a part of a remarkable project that will transform the lives of the people here. Imagine a school where young minds can flourish, a medical clinic where lives can be saved, and a church that brings solace and unity to a vibrant community. This is our vision, a vision that can only become a reality with your generous support. The children of Marshall City yearn for education. With your contribution, we can build a school, a place of learning and growth, a sanctuary for knowledge and dreams. The people of Marshall City also face significant health challenges. You can help establish a medical clinic where compassionate healthcare professionals can heal the sick and bring relief to those in need. The spirit of community and faith is strong in Marshall City. With your support, we can build a church, a sanctuary where the community can come together, find solace, and celebrate their shared beliefs. Your contribution will go directly to the construction of the school, medical clinic, and church, providing the people here with the tools and resources they need to create a brighter future. To contribute to the Liberia Project, text any dollar amount to 925 267 6836 or send a check or money order made payable to Destiny Christian Center, 520 Garcia Avenue, Suite D, Pittsburgh, California, 94565. Thank you for your generosity and compassion. Together, we can build dreams, change lives, and leave a lasting impact on Marshall City, Liberia. You were born to achieve something significant. You were designed for greatness. See beyond the obstacles. Discover your possibilities. Release the champion within. This is destiny. Now here's Paul and Denise Anderson. Faith. So it is one of those gifts that that's verse 522, but not special faith. So um, we read about the fruit of the spirit, one of which is faith in Galatians 5. However, the Greek word, the word faith in Galatians 5.22 could be translated faithfulness. The fruit of the spirit are for character. The gifts of the spirit are for power. And I love the way that's said. The fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, that's for character building. And the gifts of the spirit are for power. And that's what we need in our midst when we get together or when we need something from God, we need the power of God manifesting. We need the power of God in order to change difficult situations in our lives. Hallelujah. We need the power of God. Mm -hmm to make sure that we don't say stuff that we should not say. Well, amen. We amen. need the, we need the power of God when when we have a friend or a relative or even an enemy that is going through health challenges, we need the power of God. Amen. And so we need to be able to work through these gifts, through this gift, special faith gift in order to bring healing, bring comfort to the person that we're dealing with. Hmm. Amen. And we're going to get to that, too. Um, Sorry, no, that's OK. Um, fruit is something that grows. Faith or faithfulness is a fruit that grows in the life of a Christian to establish him in godly character. I'm going to read that again. Fruit is something that grows. Faith or faithfulness is a fruit that grows in the life of a Christian to establish in him godly spiritual character. So it grows over time. But just like anything in the word, it doesn't grow because we have the Bible sitting on our chair at church, or it doesn't grow because we have the Bible sitting, you know, on the table or on our nightstand. It has to be something that we're actively working in our heart, working on in our lives. So you have to put the seed in the ground. 
Which and it is, has to be watered. You have to put the seed in the ground in order for it to start to grow. And it has to be watered constantly. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, when, when we moved in this house, there's some type of a, 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 a pit fruit tree outside. There's a pomegranate tree, but there's also a tree that has a pit. And it's a peach tree. But for years, I didn't know what kind of fruit it was because it wasn't growing or maturing. Well, now it's developing and growing and maturing, and it's a white peach. Actually, the other day, I was, you know, kind of murmuring because I didn't want to go to the store to get any fruit, and I wanted some fruit, and the Holy Spirit said, well, go get some fruit off the tree. I was like, you know, you're right. So I just went outside because right now uh, it's ripe, and the, uh, the squirrels are eating it. They're having a feast out there. So I went out and um, got some off the tree, washed it off, and... I've been eating fruit. One is sitting right there on the counter right now. Amen. <laughs> okay. So fruit, faith, uh, fruit is something that grows. Faith and faithfulness is a fruit that grows in the life of a Christian to establish him in godly character. But the gift of faith is a special gift, which is given supernaturally by the spirit of God as he wills. Those who operate in special faith, the gift of the spirit can believe God in such a way that God honors their word as his own and miraculously brings to pass the desired result. And when I read this, immediately my mind went to Joshua when he told the sun to stand still because it says that that day was the day where God listened to man. The sun actually stood still. He was operating in special faith that gift. Thus, we learn that there are different kinds of faith. Saving faith brings one to salvation. Faith or faithfulness, the fruit of the, the, fruit of the spirit comes after salvation. And the manifestation of the gift of special faith can come as a gift of the spirit after one receives the baptism in the Holy Spirit. However, the gift of faith, which is a gift of the spirit, operates as he wills, not as we will. Oh, Linda says she wants some. <laughs> you want some what? You want some peaches? Yeah, that's what she meant. She wants oh, some peaches. Okay. And I'm believing you want the gift of faith, too. <laughs> Special faith. Miraculous faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, I, I, if I remember, I'll, I'll pick some in the morning. <laughs> anyway, praise the Lord. All right. Okay. However, the gift of faith, which is the gift of the spirit, operates as he wills, not as we will. Faith like prayer is something that is easily confused in the mind of some people. I'm going to say that again. Faith like prayer is something that is easily confused in the mind of some people. Many times we just put all kinds of faith together in the same sack, so to speak, mix them up, shake them up, shake them all up together. But we must differentiate between saving faith or the general kind of faith that every believer has and this special faith that God has given on certain occasions. So this saving faith or the general faith is the measure of faith that he gives to all of us. Which is what I said earlier. You have to learn the difference between them in order to operate in them correctly. Yes, you did. In order to have the manifestation that you desire. We were believing for finances to, um, for the B problem, which I'll hear about every week. Anyway, mm -hmm. we were believing for finances for, for the B problem challenge. And then, he just you know, manifested it. it just manifested because we was, I was, both of us, we were believing that we would have the finances for it. And the, the finances one morning, one was it morning or yeah, that? I don't know. What day it just manifested. Mm -hmm. So now we can get rid of that challenge part. Now there's something else we have to deal with. But anyway, move it on. We're believing that that's going to be taken care of too in Jesus' name. In Amen. Name Jesus. We walk by faith and not, not by, by sight. sight. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And you know something, now that you brought that up, sometimes too much information is not good. That's the same thing that we somebody we listen to say. People st get too much information off the internet. Oh my gosh. You know, and they have information overload and they can't hear from God because they got this all this information off from, from the internet. You know, I was concerned they have to cut through the, the stucco to get to to remove the bees. And so it was giving me a little issue wondering how it was gonna look. And so I contacted the lady, the beekeeper, and she said, Oh, go on my Facebook page. Why did I do that? <gasps> oh my gosh. After I looked at the Facebook page, I'm like, I'm more unsettled now than I was before. Because even though we know that they're in one place, that's where we know that they are. But there's there's no guarantee that they're not in different places. Your mind will take you where you don't oh need to go. Oh my gosh. And so for two days, I have been so unsettled. You know, and so tonight I told him, well, after she removes the bees, then we need to get the house tenant because... <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Referring to general or saving faith, I have heard people say, well, if God gives me faith, I will have it. And if he doesn't, I won't. Wait a minute. What? Yes, God gives you faith. The Bible says he has given every man the measure of faith. Believer. Yes. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 9, to another is given faith. And they think that is the way all faith works, but it's that special faith. However, as we have already proven, this special faith, this gift of faith is not the same as saving faith or general faith or the measure of faith, which one needs in order to be saved. And this special faith is not the faith needed for believing God to have your needs met according to his word. So the special faith is not to have your needs met. The faith for believing God for your needs to be met comes from by hearing the word, Romans 10, 17. Now faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And every believer is given a measure of faith a, a measure of that kind of faith in Romans 12 and three. So this is why we're going through this. So you don't get confused in your mind and think to win the lottery, I need to have that gift of special faith. No. <laughs> the gift of special faith is for power, miraculous power to accomplish something that you cannot accomplish on your own. Right. Also, as we have already pointed out, this gift of faith is not the fruit of faith that grows in a person's life to develop character in Christian living. And we should all be developing in character in Christian living. Special faith is not the general faith by which we ordinarily receive answers to prayer. So we're just really breaking this down so that we can understand. We know that we are saved by general faith or the measure of faith. We know that we receive the baptism of in the Holy Ghost by faith, general faith. We know that we receive answers to prayer by this kind of ordinary uh, measure, general faith, because Jesus said, in Mark eleven twenty four, 24, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So there's believing in everything, but none of that is special faith. Many of us have received many, many of us have received answers to prayer just through faith, even before we receive the baptism in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> it's Uriel's birthday. I asked him to call me today. Um, <clears throat> Do not disturb. I have, but she's one of the ones that can get through. Um, before my father ever received uh, the uh, 
ever received the Lord, he received a healing. Um, I think he was about six when he had polio and he couldn't walk. He couldn't do anything. And he was bedridden for a couple of years, but he did receive his healing. So many of us have received answers to prayer through faith, even before we ever received the baptism in the Holy Ghost, because he didn't receive the baptism in the Holy Ghost until uh, in the 70s when he went to Crenshaw after I got uh, baptized in the Holy Ghost. And some of you also have had probably miraculous thing, prayers answered before you got baptized in the Holy Spirit. So many of us have received answers to prayer just through faith, just through believing, even before we ever received the baptism in the Holy Ghost. These answers came because we believed God and appropriated the promises in his word by faith, whether we knew it, we were operating in faith or not. Because I've talked to many of you guys where you've shared things that happened when you were a kid. I know Raina's told me some things that she believed in when she was a kid. Linda has told me things that she believed in when she was a kid uh, that happened before you know you ever had that manifestation. These answers came because we believe God and appropriated the promises in his word by faith, but that is still not this gift of faith as described in 1 Corinthians 12, 9. If the gift of faith had to be in manifestation in order for us to, to get an answer to prayer or to receive baptism in the Holy Ghost or to receive healing for our body or to have a financial need met, then you could never get your prayers answered until after you got saved and received the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Yet many of us did receive healing before they ever received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They received healing by exercising simple faith in what God's word says. Did you have something that you wanted to say? Because I did say a lot. <laughs> Well, you see examples in the Bible where where Jesus, uh, uh, the woman at the well, or the lady uh, that said uh, that she wanted her her daughter healed, and she was not a Jew, she was a Samaritan or a Gentile, and she said to Jesus, uh, Jesus said, "I only come for the household of God." Jesus, but she said, even. Uh, the dogs eat the crumbs from the table. So she had simple faith to believe that Jesus could heal her daughter, even though she was not uh, from of the household of God. But she had simple faith and her daughter was healed in that very same hour. Right. Yes, Linda is saying, yes, she did. As, did she say as a baby? Is that what it says? Yes, yeah, she did as a baby. As a baby. She, she mm -hmm. received healing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, also, if any of these general answers to prayer were a result of the gift of faith and operation, then not everyone, even if they had the baptism in the Holy Ghost, would be able to obtain answers to prayers because not everyone will have this gift operating in them. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. If if these general answers to prayer were a result of the gift of special faith and operation, then everyone, even the, the people that had been baptized in the Holy Ghost, would, uh, would be able to obtain answers to prayer because not everyone will have this gift operating in them. Remember, in 1 Corinthians 12, 8 and 9, the Bible says, for to one is given by the spirit, the word of wisdom to another, the gift to another faith by the same spirit. So this is as the spirit wills, it's not as we will. Therefore, if we had to rely on this gift of special faith to get our prayers answers, then not everyone could get their prayers answers. And we know that that's untrue because people do get their prayers answers 
answered, and they're not operating in special faith. But there is a faith, a general faith, the gift, the measure of faith that all believers have that can be increased by feeding on the word of God and exercising it in the arena of life. We all can have an ever increasing faith. The gift of faith, however, is a supernatural manifestation of the Holy Spirit given as the Spirit wills. And we should all be operating in increasing our faith. Some of us have more faith to believe for finances than others. Some people have more faith to believe for healing than others. Some people have more faith in what? Believing for the manifestation of the desires of their heart than others. Believing for the dreams to come to pass. Believing for their destiny. So we should be just like, you know, you build up your, um, you, you build up momentum in lifting weights. Or I know um, a few weeks ago, I kept seeing um, things on Instagram teaching older people mobility and how we should all practice how to get up from a seated position on the ground without having to turn over and push ourselves up on our hands and knees. And they showed you how to do it. You know, you squat on a, a stool, a chair and you get up and you get down and get up and get down. And then you keep lowering the, the base that you're sitting on until you're finally sitting on the floor and you're able to lift yourself up. It's an exercise, it's a discipline, it's a practice. So we should all be exercising, disciplining, disciplining ourselves and practicing on increasing our faith. You know, when you don't have enough faith to believe for a house, you might have enough faith to believe for one tire on your car. Or you might have enough faith to believe for an apartment. Right. So, yeah. you, you know, you build it like that. You, you, you start believing God. Uh, to give offerings and then you believe God that you can tithe or, you know, you might believe God for uh, a Kia. And then the next thing you might be believing God for a Tesla. I mean, you know, you, you're exercising, you're growing. So it says, but there is a faith, a general faith that all believers have that can be increased by feeding on the word of God. So your faith is increased by feeding on the word of God. So if you're not feeding on the word of God, you can't increase your faith. Mm -hmm. So you have to be feeding on the word of God every day, like you feed your face every day. If you give your face, your <laughs> face three meals a day, then you should be increasing on the word of God at least three meals a day. Amen. Come on. So and the word you, is good too. So if you want to increase your faith, you have to general faith. If you want to increase your faith, you have to feed on the word of God Amen. every day. Mm -hmm. We can all have ever increasing faith. The gift of faith, however, a supernatural manifestation of the Holy Spirit is as the spirit wills. The gift of faith, however, is a supernatural manifestation of the Holy Spirit as the spirit wills. I remember the disciples in one situation uh, when they couldn't, uh, I believe it was, cast out the devil uh -huh. out of this particular uh, child or person. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said to Jesus, how come we couldn't do it? Or, and he said, what? This only comes by what? Oh, prayer, fasting and, fasting mm -hmm. and prayer. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't know that, then you wouldn't know that that's how that happened. Mm -hmm. And you had to have the faith in order to do that. Right. But in one other instance, uh, they asked him to increase their faith. And then he said to them, if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. But that meant that you had to know that. <laughs> you had to know that you could have as a grain of mustard seed that you could cast that mountain if you had that kind of faith, you can cast that mountain into the sea. But you had to know that. But if you ain't in the word, excuse me, if you're not in the word, then you won't know that. Well, 
it's getting good. We're going to be talking about the gift of faith versus the working, the gift of the working of miracles next week because our time is up. <laughs> and it's going to be good because I got lots of examples of the gift of faith uh, versus the working of miracles. Praise the Lord. Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank believe you, that Father. your word has entered into the hearts and the minds yes, of each Lord. and every person individually. Mm -hmm. And they will not just be hearers of the word, but they will be doers, doers of, the word, of the word. And they will act on what they have heard yes. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, Destiny, are you ready? Oh, no, I know you're not ready for that, but are you ready for someone to receive Jesus Christ as, as your Lord, as their yes. Lord and Savior? Yes, amen. All right. If you've not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I, I want to ask you tonight, I want to give you an opportunity tonight to receive him. Would you pray this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. I make you my Lord and Savior. Because I confess with my mouth. Because I confess with my and mouth. And believe in my heart. And I believe in my heart. God raised you from the dead. God raised you from the dead. I am saved. I'm saved. Hallelujah. If you, if you prayed that prayer, we believe you got born again. Thank Welcome you, to the family of God. You are now a child of the Most High God. You have all the privilege privileges of a child of the most high God. You are in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And if you want to get into a good Bible-based church, may I suggest a good Bible-based church where you can mm -hmm. keep learning and keep growing mm -hmm. and keep feeding on mm -hmm. the word. Yes. Destiny Christian Center, 520 Garcia Avenue, <laughs> Suite D, Pittsburgh, California, 945 six five amen amen all right destiny are you ready to give yes amen if you're ready to give la east bay text to give 925-237-9688 la text to give is 323-400-6312 and i know you want to give into the liberia project I know you want to be a blessing to the children and the families of Liberia mm -hmm. and you want to see them fulfill the destiny that God has for their life. Text to give any amount to 925-267-6836 or you can hit, hit put the your QR phone, code. put your phone up to that QR code and it will take you directly to the donation page. We'll make it real easy for you. Amen. Praise Lord. This is something new. Amen. Glory to God. That's just for Project Liberia, though. That's not for right. your tithes or offerings. Right. It says that on there. Yes. Just for Project Liberia. Make it real easy for you to donate any amount to Project Liberia. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Or you can send your gifts and tithes or gifts of love to our P.O. Box, Destiny Christian Center. P.O. Box 8382, Pittsburgh, California, 94565. Or you can send it to our mailing address, our physical address, Destiny Christian Center, 520 Garcia Avenue, Suite D, Pittsburgh, California, 94565. Amen. Amen. All right. So, Father, we just thank you and praise you. We thank, thank you, Father, Father, for every person that's given into the ministry. Thank you, Jesus. For the followers of your gospel mm -hmm. and given into the Liberia Project to be a blessing to the children and the families of Liberia to help the needy to help the needy and those who are in need of a blessing. Mm -hmm. Father, we just thank you that you open up the windows of heaven, pour mm -hmm. them our blessings that they will not have room enough to receive them. Yeah. We thank you, Father, that you open up opportunities for them. Doors will open for yeah. them. Things will happen in their life supernaturally because they are giving to the needy and the misfortunate, those who don't have things, the, the very, how can I say, the very essence of, of everyday needs or everyday things that we need in order to live. Father, we're blessing them right now. We're not looking for anything in return. We just want to bless them and so that they can fulfill the destiny God has for them. And so, Father, we just thank you that for everyone who is doing that. If there's healing that they're needing in, their, in yes, their bodies, Lord. we believe that they're healed. Yes. If doors of opportunity yes. needs to be open, we believe they're open. If answers to questions that they've been praying about has not come, we believe now that those answers will come because of their faithfulness. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, glory to God. All right, everybody. <laughs> we love you too, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. And as you go through the rest of your week, keep standing in faith. Amen. And keep feeding on the word of God. Amen. We love and you guys. And you'll keep increasing. Amen. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time on This is Destiny.